fumbles last week. That didn't look great. That's another thing I wanted to get on. Florida, number number 14 Florida, they're ranked too high. They're, a four, they're holding a 4-1 and one record, and I think LSU needs to be up there toward number 6, to be honest, because they've looked good with a 5-0 and a record in the right. SEC. Well, you know, Florida played number one Alabama last week, like I said. 14 fumbles, like he said. That's going to kill you. You're not going to have a chance in the football game if the center can't get it to your quarterback. That's true. If you, I'm like this. 14 fumbles. Somebody's not doing their job. They're getting too anxious. They're getting too scared. Or they just suck, and they need to be gone off the line if they can't do, either, can't accomplish away from either three. Yeah. Okay, so let's see the picks. LSU's look good. They almost lost North Carolina the first week of the season, but then they, they still won that game pretty much, and they've won out since. I'm taking LSU over Florida. You got okay. LSU over Florida? Yes, I got LSU over right. Florida. Next up, we have an ACC matchup. Number 23, Florida State at number 13, Miami. Miami, Miami, Miami. Florida State, you've looked good, but you haven't looked that well. Florida State with a four and one record, and Miami with a three and one record off of that off week. Even though, to be honest with you, I think Miami's ranked a little too high. Well, uh, you know they weren't off last week. They beat Clemson last week. I meant like they had an off week. Well, they had an off week, yes. which made it that three and one. But you said off an of off week, off an off week, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I like Miami. They 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 look good. We got one of our high school. Classmates on the Miami team, Alan Bailey. He's a good big guy. He's a big guy. But, uh, I mean big. He is humongous. Yeah. Miami had a good game against Clemson last week. It was a close game all the way through. Clemson couldn't pull it out in the end. Had a chance to win, but they couldn't pull it out. Uh, Even though I'll be straight up with you, Clemson played very well. They played two games very, very well, it, and they that, hadn't performed in the fourth quarter. To be honest with you, I think Clemson beat Miami last week, just not in score. Yeah, uh, they beat Auburn in point and you know everything except score. Penalties, penalties, penalties show the game up. It's you know Clemson they they they've played two high school teams, which they, they didn't really kill, but they played them. Then they came to Auburn, killed them in the first half, and then just quit in the second half. And then Miami played, they played a whole good game through until about five minutes left in the fourth, and they couldn't produce. I'm picking Miami over Florida State. That's true. Got Miami sitting in there as number 15 in the fan, fan rankings. That, that I believe they need they need to go to about number 20. Even though that's just fan rankings, that's just my opinion. Yeah. All right, so the next one we got, USC versus number 16, Stanford. Wow. Both unranked loss. cheating USC. They ain't wow. been unranked in a while. And they're going against Stanford. Both coming off a loss last week. Stanford, they played a good. They killed Oregon the first half, and then Oregon just exploded with points. You know what? I'm going to have to go for the upset. Even though USC sitting all, all in these bad dealings right now, I think USC will come in there and knock Stanford all the way to at least number 22, not 23. If USC wins, they're going to knock Stanford out. They, they should. Yeah. I think if Stan it's not that big of a blowout. Yeah. I think Stanford's going to win, but that's just my opinion. That's a disagreeable game there we need to look at. Next up, we have a crucial matchup. Number 17, Michigan State at number 18, Michigan. A very good game. Wow, that looks like a cross-state rivalry. It's an in-state rivalry. Yeah, cross-state, basically. One's on one side, uh, one's on the other. Go. Get up. You know what? I'm going to say the uh, Spartans can come out. The Michigan State Spartans can uh, overtake this. I haven't really looked. I, I haven't watched any of their games. Uh, I think Michigan State will beat Michigan. I, I'm, it's just a pick. I don't really know. I don't like either one Here's of the teams. thing you got to look at. Somebody's going to go home, and they won't be undefeated for the rest of the year because you're looking over here at number 17, number 18, Michigan State and Michigan, both 5-0. Mm -hmm. I think Michigan has got the be uh, better defense, but Michigan State has better special teams, and the special teams can come in and win a game. We were looking at that in a high school football game the other day. Our kicker couldn't hit an extra point for nothing. Yeah. But. <laughs> sucks. Well, I wouldn't go to that extent. He's a good guy. He's a, he's a good guy. 
He only had one extra point he missed. That's true. And then we went for two the next two times we scored and didn't get it. I think he was just having an off night, yeah. to be honest with you, because he is a good kicker if he, if it's, he's having a good night. All right, so you got Michigan over Michigan State. No, I got Michigan State over I Michigan. I said Michigan State over Michigan. She said Michigan over Michigan State. Michigan State. You. Over you. Who you got winning? Michigan State. Okay, I got Michigan State winning. Okay. All right. Minnesota versus number 20, Wisconsin. Minnesota versus number 20, Wisconsin. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota, you got an upset alert on Wisconsin. Yeah. Wisconsin looks like a good team to me. I'm picking Wisconsin. Connect. San Jose State versus number 21, Nevada. Nevada. Coming in. Ain't been in there since, what, 19-something? 1940-something. 1940-something. I believe Nevada can pull it out. They're sitting with a 5-0 and record right now. And I think they're ranked too low. I think they need to come up. Yeah. Next. I like Nevada in this one, too. San Jose State's cupcake game. Cupcakes. Number 24, Missouri at Colorado. Missouri. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? Colorado last week showed me something great. They beat Georgia. They beat it's not a, a Georgia. It's not an accomplishment. Yeah, they're one and four. Come it's on. It's no longer an accomplishment. But Colorado came in there and said that they're going to murder them. Right. They didn't murder them, but, but they, they still, still beat them. I'm picking Missouri over Colorado. Okay. Colorado State at number 25, Air Force. I'm going to say Air Force. I'm going to go for them boys in the blue. I like Air Force here too. They they got the rank since I don't know when. Air Force didn't look good since I've been born. Yeah, that's 18 years. I'm picking Air Force right here too. Wow, you're old, ain't you? I'm, 56 I'm old. year old man. And now we get to the segment, the quick picks. Quick where picks. We look at all the unranked ACC and SEC matchups because we're located in the South. Uh, Coast of Georgia, you can see behind us. Yes, you can see. So this is our quick pick segment. First up, we're going to Clemson at North Carolina. Clemson. Clemson's look well. I like Clemson in this one, too. Boston College, North Carolina State. North Carolina State. Yeah, North Carolina State lost to Virginia Tech last week, but I like them here, too. Central Michigan at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. Blow out City, Virginia Tech, all the way. Tennessee at Georgia. Tennessee! I'm going to go against your Georgia here. They're going to come back and beat nah. Mitch Dooley. I, I, I nah. like them. Virginia Tech at Georgia Tech. Virginia at Georgia Virginia Tech. Virginia at Georgia Tech. So my bad. I'm going to say Georgia Tech. I like Georgia Tech in this one, too. I like the option they got. Uh, Navy at Wake Forest. I'm going to say the Navy. Navy had a tough injury the other day, but I think I think they're getting that guy back this week, if I'm not mistaken. I like Wake Forest. I'm an ACC guy. Okay. And last but not least, East Michigan versus Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. I like Vanderbilt, too. All right. Stay tuned for part two where we talk about, talk about a little more NCAA football.